So now comes the interesting uh, part. So we're going to do most of the uh, game logic and read user input in this video right now. So inside the main function, we can uh, create a loop. So we can say loop, and this will be the main loop for the program itself. Now, we're going to first of all display the progress of their letters at the beginning of this loop, just like that. Now, we're also just going to have to make a variable for the amount of turns left. But first, we can define a, a, um, a constant for the amount of uh, allowed attempts you can have. So in my case, it was five in the demo. You can change this to whatever you want. So we're going to say const allowed attempts of type u8 equal to five. So each user gets five, uh, five goes at guessing the word itself. So now inside the main function, we can make a new mutable uh, variable called turns left equal to that constant right there, aka five or whatever you define that inside there. So now we're just going to say, how's it going? Print line, you have boom turns left, then pass in turns left into that right there. So now we see you have that many turns left, display the letter progress, and now is where we're going to get them to input a character. So first we need to go up here and import some stuff for user input. So you can say, I use standard IO. That's all we need. We can then go back down here and we're going to make a variable called the user car, user character, equal to read user input character. We're also just going to say uh, print line, please enter a, oh, what is it? Please enter a letter to guess, a letter to guess. So now we're going to call the read user input character function, which will return a character that they have guessed. Now we can define this function down the bottom here. So we can go down, we can say fn read user input character, which will return a character, just like that. Now this function is going to get user input. So we're going to make a new string, a mutable string, called user input, equal to a brand new empty string. Now the input will be stored in this string right here. Now, we're going to say match IO standard input dot read line and pass in a mutable reference to the user input variable. Now this might go wrong. And if it does, we're going to handle it. So if it's okay, actually, we're going to do this. We're going to say uh, match user input dot cars dot next okay so this is quite quite confusing I guess so what's happening is we're getting the user input from the uh, standard in stream if that goes wrong sorry uh, if, if if that becomes successful so it does work we're gonna match user input so their extra input itself dot cars so all the characters that they've entered in, dot next. So dot next grabs the first character of their input. Now this could go wrong as well, because there might not be a character there. So we're going to say, if that didn't go wrong, so sum C, we're going to return that character. So if there was a character, this is like the, the fully successful line. So if everything went well, we're going to return the character that they entered. Otherwise, we're simply just going to return an asterisk and that will be like the escape. So if something goes wrong, we're going to just return an asterisk if all else fails. We're, we're, we're going to do the same thing for the read line uh, call as well. So we're going to say if there was an error, right, 
we're going to return an asterisk. So basically, if all else fails, return an asterisk. This is quite sloppy. You can improve on this. But right now, this is fine. This is, uh, this is simple and it works quite well, but it can be improved on. So with this now, we can simply just, you know, leave that actually. We'll just say, get user input. Now we're returning a character in all cases. Back up here, we can now handle this character. So this is where the game logic comes in. We can say this, we can say, exit if user enters an asterisk. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so if they enter an asterisk or the input fails, we're basically just going to exit the game. So if user character equals an asterisk, we're just going to break. So break this loop, break the game and just return out and just escape. That's if they enter an asterisk or the input fails. So now we can go through all the letters so all these letters and check if they if if the user entered one correctly so we can say for letter in letters dot i t e r m u t so a mutable iterator we're using mutable here because we want to change the value of revealed if they have chosen a correct letter. So we can say if letter dot character, remember character is a letter A, B, C, D in the alphabet, yeah? So if that character equals the user's character, then change the state of that letter to true. Because it's now revealed. You're now going to see the letter instead of a underscore. Now also, we need to make a immutable boolean up top here. We're going to say let mut at least one revealed equal to false. This boolean will say if at least one letter has been revealed. If that's the case, you're not going to lose a turn. You won't go from five to four or whatever. You're going to stay on five, um, five turns left if you've guessed at least one letter correctly. If that's the case, we're just going to say, uh, so if the letter was, you know, guessed correctly, we're just going to say at least one revealed equals true. So now we can check if, though, if, if one was revealed or not. So we can say if at least, actually, you know what? We're going to check if one has not been revealed. So if one letter has not been revealed, you're going to lose a turn. So it turns left minus equals one. And that's if you haven't revealed at least one letter uh, in the word. Okay, so we'll just comment out all this stuff here. So we can say um, updates the revealed state of each letter. If the user, the user has guessed a correct letter, at least one revealed is changed to true. Also going to say if they have guessed incorrectly lose a turn. Now that's most of the hangman logic done. Uh, I guess we can now try this so go on the console we can we can run this one and hopefully we're okay hopefully. Alright so yeah five turns left enter a letter. So we'll say E. Now E gets revealed. Perfect. If I enter like for example uh, X, we see we now have four turns left. X wasn't part of the word. If I enter an asterisk, press enter, the game finishes and it just says the word was vehicle. Perfect. Now in the next video, we'll go over what happens when you've won the game, if you've, you're still in progress or if you've lost. But that's all, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.